typically it starts, and I usually try to get up by, I don't know, sometime between 5 and 5.30. It usually starts by some combination of, you know, doing normal preparations uh, for the day. I usually try to do some reading early on, whether that's, you know, personal uh, stuff or publication that comes out every morning called the D1 Ticker that has all the different news from college athletics across the country. You know, there are few places in any city, any town, that are more beautiful than college campuses. Beautiful buildings and just the scenery and what you're able to be a part of. Uh, it's really a privilege to be able to work in such a great environment every day. Today I'm starting off with a meeting with Michelle Adams. She is our faculty athletics representative. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's so good to see it's you. It's good to see you as well. How are things? So we work well together. I know she's going to do everything she can to make sure that our student athletes have a great experience while they're on campus. Just leaving a productive meeting with Michelle Adams and now I'm on my way to give a lecture to the principals and the leadership class. If you believe in something enough that you want someone else to do it, are you willing to do it yourself? What it may look like for you may be different than someone else, but don't let anyone tell you that you're not capable of leading something because of a personality or because of a background or because of anything. You determine that. You determine what you're willing to do. Hopefully that was helpful to everybody. Oh, man, that was great, man. Good. I always appreciate when we get guest speakers that come in and unprompted say things that we talked about. Mm -hmm. we did this, that, that was great, man. Good. I help you Good. every semester that I'm here. Okay. I'm happy to come back anytime. I appreciate it. I enjoy it. it. I, I like doing stuff like this. So. Absolutely, man. I appreciate All right. it. Right. Thank you. Right. All right. One, I love doing stuff like that. I, it's, it's weird. I've gone from uh, a time in my life where getting up in front of a group uh, is was something that uh, frightened me to it being something that in the right situation uh, really excites me especially when I have a chance to be able to share stuff that I've gotten wrong <laughs> and stuff that I've gotten right uh, in my career I, I have a natural love of uh, mentoring and helping people, especially professionally, uh, people who want to achieve certain things or who want to do um, what I'm doing. And so I always enjoy having the opportunity to be able to uh, speak in those situations. Making my way back to the Wilson Center, but I always like to make some time for my family in between some of my meetings. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Okay. How's Wesley doing? He's asleep. Okay. So I know he doesn't feel well because, you know, he doesn't stay in the bed when he's okay. Okay. So this just started this morning? No, it started two days ago, so this is day three. But he's going to school the other days. As we go through some major renovations, take a walk with me as we get a tour of some of these updates. This is our front porch, so to speak. This is the first thing that people see as they're coming to visit so many of our sports programs, going into strength and conditioning, athletics training, uh, academic center, uh, the administrative area. Uh, and so uh, I'm curious as we get to the end of the summer to see just how it will all come together and then really excited uh, to see the end product. I think uh, we're all going to be proud of the work uh, that's been done. Uh, we know that this is a big part of the experience and uh, something we want to get right. So uh, very excited. Can't wait to see it uh, all open up here soon. When I started at Tulane, I decided that I wanted to have a plan for my first 100 days. Part of that plan was to meet with as many of our staff members as I could for an hour during that time period. Uh, but it's been good to have a chance to learn about people, uh, their experience here, their background, uh, things that they want to do in the future, uh, their perspective on the culture of the department, which is why I asked everybody to do the start, stop, continue. 
exercise, so this is really informal. Give you a chance to tell me about yourself. I'll ask you some questions, just try to understand more. At some point, we'll do the start, stop, continue, and then uh, probably the last 15 minutes or so, uh, I'll give you a chance to ask me any questions that you got. Wrapping up the day with our student athletes and local businesses at the OTIS NIL workshop. All the time, so hopefully, uh, we're providing them the kind of education that helps them understand what's going on, helps them to kind of anticipate uh, some of the things that may be changing uh, in the future, uh, and just how to uh, have conversations with their student athletes, take a chance, take an opportunity, contact uh, our student athletes, and uh, we feel like they're going to give you everything that they can to help you, to represent you uh, in the way that you want to be represented. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Uh, I can honestly say that I really enjoyed this. Uh, no two days in this position are the same. Uh, it's always a little bit different. So you got a chance to see the glimpse or a glimpse of what today was like. Lots of meetings, lots of different things going on. Uh, every day brings about its own challenges, uh, but I'm incredibly happy to be here to be your director of athletics. I am looking forward to continuing to do the work. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for being with me today and roll wave.